Hello everyone. In this video, we talk about how to implement Cisco SD Access Multicast. Here you see here is a fabric domain. I have a border to edge. The first thing is I have done is in the design on the network key settings. Go to my test site. The fabric organization and the IP pools. I have made IP pool for multicast 172.16.31.0/24. This pool I will be used for multicast. Go back to my provisioning fabric sites. And my fabric site for five, I will config multicast. Replication mode, I will use native multicast. This method has reduced latency and increased the scale. It uses underlay and intermediate to do replication. For VMs, VNs, I will use CLAB VN. I will choose the IP pool created for multicast. In multicast mode, we we'll use ASM, any source multicast. This requires an RP rendezvous point so borders can be used as the rp only for this group range 239.0.0.1 to 239.0.1.246 for layer 2 flooding so the flooding traffic does not rely on the existing rp we will use next in the multicast group to rendezvous points mapping i will use multicast for fabric i choose my border Because I'm using ASM, my group num uh, number will be dot zero dot zero dot one slash sixteen. Click next. This gives you a summary for what I have configured. Click next. Click deploy. I go to fabric site, wait my task to be completed. As soon as the task finish, click a border. We see the border has become a rendezvous point. On host onboarding and the virtual network, CLAB VN, the M batch on this virtual network host onboarding is enabled for multicast. Now let's log in to border. Show run IRP.
we can see the RP is enabled for this ASM ACL. This ACL tells me RP is serving for these multicast groups. And I have a pane turned on to the edge. So IP pin we have C lab VN neighbor and ping sparse mode is turned on on the interface to edge one. enabled for ping sparse mode. On the edge, I can verify that so interface G101 is enabled for ping sparse mode. Ping neighbor is to the border is enabled. Double check the interface to the host. The VLAN interface 1031 is enabled for ping passive load and IGMP version 3 is enabled. At this time, I will use IP MSDP to create RP to RP communication. The RP will be on a border and RP is my fusion router. I utilize the fusion port street VLAN 301 and I'll have IP, MSDP, VRF, CLAB, VM, peer. To 10.0106, which is then rollback interface on the border. Connection source. I will use VLAN 3601 IP MSDP VLF CLAP VN Originator ID is also VLAN 3001. Now on my border Fusion to Fusion, I'm going to Enable IP multicast routing. VRF, just say distributed. And I will enable G2, which is to my server, DNS, DHCP, and IP IGMP passive version 3. IP ping passive. And to rule back zero, I would say ping sparse mode. To show run rule back zero, I have IP 10.1.6, which is the Border IP, MSDP is going to point it to the peer. But also, IP ping RP address 1016. Use IP MSDP peer. To the border IP. OK, 
connection source will be like blue black zero IBM SDP original ID blue black zero just for a while I can show IBM SDP summary my peer is up to the border on the border side I will also be able to see IPM SDP summary BF CLAP BN summary Now let's get, give a test. I'll ping 239.0.1.99. Keep it pinging. To my border, I'll be able to see an M route. To the host and this host is going to be a lisp to the edge back to my fusion I'll be able to see I have received an assay from the peer from the border show IPM SDP assay I can see this M route is getting from the peer border from the BGP AS100. So IP M route. I can see this sparse ping. Is RP is 10.0.1.06 now go to my server I'm using IP perf to send the traffic to group RPM route I can see this source group mapping on my M route table go to my border show IPM SDP assay VRF CLAP VN assay I can see this S group entry is getting from the fusion router. Now let's just go to the edge and show run interface G1.0.12. And I know the host is connected to VLAN 1031. I we'll just go to this VLAN interface. IP pin join P IGMP join to three nine dot zero dot one dot ninety nine show run int VLAN one zero thirty one and I'm going to my fusion to my server I'm gonna join the group as well. As soon as you joined, I show IPM route. I can see the super secret S and G route entry in the M route table, and also I receive from MSDP an SG entry to uh, to this, uh, the the fabric client. To the group 
and this flag has an M. M means it's in source from the MSDP. And for sure, I'm able to see this assay catch. Just go to my border, show IP M route, VIF, CLF, VN, 39.0.1.99. I can also see remote to group uh, IPHV server IP to the group. And the flag as a M. That means MSDP create entry. And also I have the specific route to the edge as source and group. And I know this entry is a candidate for MSDP advertisement. That's why I, my Fusion router is able to receive it. And also I, uh, on the border, show IP MSDP VIF CLAB VN SA. That tells me the S group entry is received from MSDP peer uh, from the Fusion router. Well, that's all about multicast fabric. And if you have any question, leave the comments below. Thank you.